Okay, so we're back at the obsidian generator that we made in the last episode. And you guys in the comments had a lot to say about this and a lot of different ideas on how to make uh, make this basically lossless because before we were losing uh, obsidian into the lava and also having it fall all the way down here. Um, but now I've come back and I've made quite a few adjustments based on a lot of your guys' feedback. And uh, yeah, we've got a completely lossless design now which I'm really happy with. So um, yeah, I might I might just take it for a drive so you guys can see sort of how it works. I think I'm just gonna... Uh, I can leave everything in my inventory, it'll be fine. So basically what we've changed here is we've got um, a wall on this side so that nothing can, can fall on this side. And then if you remember last time, we tower up with the sand. So uh, we put the sand and the lava there like that and uh, the sand under us as well. Um, so yeah, we tower up with the sand and that'll create two walls, one on the lava side and one on the um, on this side here. Uh, and then once we get to the top, we'll drop sand um, all the way through this water column. And we'll also drop a sand down to here, which will activate this piston, um, which will cut off the lava and water source so that we can then mine straight back down. So I'm going to tower up. And uh, yeah, you guys will be able to see um, that whole process once we get to the top. Okay, so once we get to the top here, as you can see, um, we have the water and lava stream still in. And basically, if I go into F5 here, we've got two towers, one, uh, well, both of sand, one covering where the lava would be, and then one just covering that front wall. So now we've got a wall here, a wall here, and a wall here. So now we basically just need to drop this sand down here to create a wall here. Um, being careful not to have it spill over. Um, this should be ex exactly 64 blocks, so it's actually kind of helpful. This is probably the most tedious part. I could do it as I go, um, as I travel upward, um, but I don't know, for me personally, this is the better way to do it. Alright, and once that last block is in, now we have one pillar here where the water is, one pillar here, so now we've got four enclosed walls. So now the main thing we need to do is get rid of these uh, these streams here, because if I start mining down, as soon as I get past this block, the lava is going to start flowing onto me and I'm going to die. So the way I've got that is I place this sand here and that drops down, and that activates this redstone here to push uh, push this glass to cover these blocks up. So yeah, now I'm basically free to mine um, all the way down. So yeah, I'll do that and I'll show you what I do at the bottom to uh, to reset the system. Okay, so we've made it to the bottom now, and uh, so long as you have torches on you, you can just place them like that, and then all the sand will drop down, which is good. I even have the doors here to be able to get the, uh, the last ones like that, and we can just pick up all this sand, three stacks. And we should be missing one because we dropped it down here before. And yeah, as you guys will see, the lava and the water, uh, they're both not flowing. And then, yeah, the last thing you do is grab this. And then the piston chain will all come down. Those pistons will retract. And then there you go, the water and the lava can go again. So, completely sort of revamp the system and yeah as you can see we have 64 whole obsidian didn't lose a single one so yeah overall way better um you know value for for money i guess <laughs> um so yeah it's looking pretty good um which is which is good and yeah i guess i have um i have a chest where i can keep all the sand and then the uh whoops uh the extra torches well the torches that you need i guess and uh, I should really keep my redstone in here as well. And then this chest is for, I guess, like your your inventory and stuff that, um, you know, you don't need. So, yeah. Um, I'd also like to draw attention to this whole area. As you can see, um, the tree farm, I've put glowstone in all of the corners so it's all lit. And I've meticulously gone and sort of torch gridded up 
this whole sandy area over here all the way up over to up there and sort of around this general area um, I don't like torch gridding I don't really like the way it looks I, I generally just tend to put up with the mobs but um, I think it's sort of past time to kind of spawn proof this area a little bit and I think the the first step in doing that is to torch grid the area up and uh, yeah eventually that will motivate me to um, yeah figure out other ways to yeah light this area up with hidden lighting and things like that but for now it's all torched up so yeah that's why that looks like that now this might be a good point to show off where I'm up to with the slime farm and as you can see I've been doing a bit of decoration and uh, yeah there's a lot of slimes in here so let me take you through uh, what I've been up to so first of all I added this fence around because I noticed that there were some mobs possibly either spawning on uh, this fence here uh, on this obsidian here or maybe big slimes are jumping across I don't know uh, but there was definitely some slimes coming across uh, this side so uh, yeah hopefully that sort of stops that plus it kind of looks good and uh, yeah I've also added some nice decorations that go around the outside and I'm kind of in the middle of that uh, that right now and it looks a bit weird and interesting but uh, yeah I'm working on it looks like I didn't put a piece of wool behind that one whoops um, but yeah, there's some paintings and stuff. Yeah, it's looking kind of cool and just, you know, a bit of lighting, a bit of decoration. Um, and yeah, I've added, I've changed this up a little bit. It's not quite done. But as you can see, oh, they're escaping. The slime farm is working. It's so loud. <laughs> okay, let me just take a step back. Okay, let me tell you what I've sort of done here. I actually moved uh, the glass forward, which you can see. And I moved... Oh my god, they're so loud. I moved the... I made it one block longer, basically, where the mobs can stand. I made it one block longer um, to hopefully get rid of what these little slime are doing, because the big slime and medium slime were doing this. Um, but yeah, I don't like I don't like it when they do this. But yeah, this is a problem with uh, s servers uh, in beta. Um, you get weird mob mechanics like this. In in regular, uh, sorry, regular in single player, this would not not happen. But yeah, we've got this decoration here. See if I can kill some of the slime in here. But these guys are acting. Oh my god, it's so loud. Let me turn this down. Uh, but these big ones, at least, are acting way more um, behaved, which is nice. Uh, let me kill them. There we go. Uh, medium ones are still having some trouble. And I don't really understand how to fix it either, because they just kind of look like they're glitching into the roof. And yeah, it's kind of hard to really fix fix that, I think. But, yeah. Oh well, I, uh, I already have basically all the slime I'm ever going to need um, constructing this farm. Even before I started constructing this farm, I pretty much had all the slime I was ever going to need anyways. So, yeah, it's just a, just a fun project. Um, it's a shame this isn't working. Maybe one day I'll have to kind of figure this out. I'm going to try and f do some, some work up the top there. As you can see, I haven't um, pushed that back or anything like that um, to try and get that to work. But, yeah, I'm not really sure. Not really sure why it's not fully working. Alright, let me kill some of these slime here. Um, I also don't have any collection systems or anything like that. <laughs> Look, they're just, they're just escaping. I don't have any collection systems or anything like that. So any any of the drops that I sort of, you know, leave in there, they just kind of rot away. But, yeah. Anyways, that's sort of the progress right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm liking it so far. Um, I think my next point of call is to figure out the entrance of the slime farm and then from there it'll be a bit easier to sort of shape the upstairs and these uh maybe these little part designs um you know the the interior designs but yeah chipping away at it which is cool whoa there's a ton of mobs in here how many is that that's a lot i've just been working on uh, a railway to go back to the surface uh, from the entrance and there's just clearly been a ton of mobs spawning and, and falling in while I've been working on it oh, so loud they're so loud when they splash okay so yeah obviously this works really well um, the 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 problem is you know purely just in terms of uh, how do we kill them 
How do we stop them from glitching around and, and dying? Like, how many is this? This is so many big slime. Oh my god, they're backed up. Okay, little guy, you need to die. Oh, looks like there's one over there somehow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, seven or eight big slimes on this side. Nine, ten, eleven. Oh, wait, that's a small one. So, eleven, like, eleven big slimes. That's huge. Like, that's so many slimes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start killing them. Let's see how many slime balls we can get from all of these guys. This is gonna take a while. Yeah, slimes really weren't built for multiplayer beta. That's, that's for sure. Oh my god, there's so many of them. <laughs> yeah, slimes really were not built for it. In single player, this would be the greatest slime farm of all time. In multiplayer, not so much. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. Now we're getting the slimes. Let's go. PvP. PvE. Oh, it'd be so good to get, like, all of the small slimes in the middle. I might have to take a world download and, uh... And, and try and redo this, like, in single player. Because I want to see... I want to see how many, like, small slimes I can get into, like, the middle. Okay, and after all of that, we got three stacks and one slime ball, and I'm pretty sure some fell down over there. Three stacks and one slime ball from one harvest of the farm, really. That's ridiculous. Even if this slime farm stopped working, I don't think I would ever use enough sticky pistons to, to warrant this much slime balls. And over time, like, building the slime farm, here's another stack. And I'm sure there's more in here. Here's another almost two stacks. Another half stack. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six and a bit stacks just from building the slime farm and then that one harvest. I, I don't need this many slime balls. That's ridiculous. Oh my goodness. At least, uh, at least we know it works. But now it's all just aesthetics. I don't need this for function anymore. <laughs> That's for sure. I think I might just lock them up and, uh, and yeah, never interact with the slimes anymore. But, yeah. Hell yeah. Um, well, I guess I can show you the, uh, the railway I was working on. I'll turn that off now. Uh, it's, so there's a staircase that goes up to the other staircase, um, that I had before. And then now I've just installed this sort of railway, um, that leads sort of directly up to the door. So here's the, uh, that's the walkway, which I'll, uh, pretty up. And then the idea is that you would you get put right out by this button, and that's where you open, open here. And I didn't check, but I do have a chest with a, a clock inside and a bed so that you can, uh, you can sleep. And then, uh, yeah, if you're coming in, like, the door's obviously open. You come here, if I turn up the volume, you'll be able to hear it. Um, I press this. And you can hear the door close, and then you get sent back down. So, yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty good little system here. Alright, so I have made some aesthetic changes to the design of this place. Um, first of all, I added some uh, nice little walkways that have some wood, glowstone, glass, um, basically all the way around, which is nice. I mean, it doesn't go behind there, but maybe it should. Um, but uh, yeah, I also added some smooth stone walls. Um, I didn't really want these to be so, like, super detailed, just because everything else below it I want to be more detailed and interesting. I want you to be looking down at what, uh, what's down here rather than looking up. Um, I think I'll add some glowstone for lighting, but for now I've just got the torches in there. And, um, yeah, I just have a question for you guys, um, about these little sections here, because I'm not sure what to put in them. Um, they're sort of, you know, five, I mean, that's five blocks wide. Um, this is just like a big corner piece. These ones are weird. These are small four, four wide ones. Um, yeah, so I'm not really sure what to put in these spaces. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments because I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, I also, just before we finish, um, you can see that over here, if you look down on the, uh, on the left hand side, slime chunk false and then true. This is a slime chunk here. I didn't even realize that this was a slime chunk for so like somehow. Um, and yeah, I walk out of it there. This whole thing is a slime chunk. So that explains why slimes are spawning there. And it's possible that there might be one over there as well. Um, and maybe one here as well. That guy just spawned in front of us. Like, how? I thought there was only the two slime chunks there. But I'm thinking maybe there's more. No, don't hit me. Stop it. 
Thank you. One heart, not even close. See, that slime chunk false. There's no slime chunk here. How did he spawn over here? I don't get it. Not like this fence isn't a slime chunk. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confused how they get out of these fences, but it really doesn't matter. It's all, uh, you know, it all works mostly fine. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of uh, what we should do in these little sections here, because uh, I'm not really sure just yet. Alright, but thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!